my loves welcome back to my channel oh my goodness this is uh, the first time this year that i'm sitting in my corner i've taken my butterflies down my fairy lights down i'm planning on doing something else for this year so stay tuned for my background we've had the butterflies for a few years two I want to say two, two and a half years. Uh, you all liked it, but I thought it was time for a change. So let's let's try some. So well, this is the in between stage. Okay, kind of plain, kind of boring, but hey, happy New Year to you. Also, this is the first time I'm sitting down to film um, in my corner after. Uh, a whole month i was away in new york for a whole month i put out a few vlogs i don't know if you guys watched it i was there for christmas and new year it was a crazy crazy ride guys i even have a video of my top life lessons that i've learned in 2022 which also holds a lot of my lessons that i've learned from my solo time in new york a whole month that's crazy to be alone for a whole month but anyways that's not the point of this video if you have missed any of these older videos i will link them up here wherever the cards are gonna pop up the i card but in today's video i'm gonna show a little bit of beauty haul it's been a while since we threw back to our old school stuff guys and i i don't buy a lot of makeup too but when i was in new york uh, i was like maybe i should <laughs> well um i was there during the holiday season so a lot of these things were on sale but guess what the sales are not that crazy okay back over here in india you'd be like oh my god you get such massive sales and stuff but it wasn't it wasn't that crazy but i did go a little crazy with my shopping the, it, don't be fooled by the tiny bag this bag is stuffed stuffed with products i have a lot of products to talk about I did not shop just in Sephora, I shopped from Target, I shopped from Ulta, I shopped from a few different places. Uh, I'm also gonna share my experiences, you know, if uh, I'm sure you watch a few American beauty YouTubers and you see these hauls and I just wanna, you know, bring our Indian perspective, like an Indian, you go there and you, you know, you expect this, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shed my light on some, some tea, okay? So I'm gonna randomly go through the stuff that I got, guys, so let's get started with today's haul. Now, if... This is the very first time you're seeing my face. Hello! None of that intro would have made any sense to you, but if you've lasted till this very point, thank you. I am Jovita. If you uh, haven't subscribed yet, please click on that subscribe button just underneath this video. Welcome to my family. Yeah, and if you like this video, by the end of this video, thumbs up this video. If you do not like this video, I mean, yeah, go ahead, thumbs down this video. But I hope, <laughs> I hope you like this video. Now, randomly let's get started the very first thing that is sitting right on top of my little sephora bag is from the ordinary this is the multi-peptide serum for hair density now guys you might have noticed my, that my hair looks so much more fluffier and thicker than it used to look uh, so um, i've been doing a lot of hair treatments for you know hair volume and a lot of these products have been working and i've mentioned them in you know, my older videos, YouTube videos, if you've checked them out, if you haven't, some of the products that really worked was the Earth Collective spray thing. There was a Pilgrim Redensil dropper thing. I tried a re-equal, uh, but I didn't like the way it felt on my hair. I like the Pilgrim and the Earth Collective. Now, the reason why I bought the Ordinary is because I've heard good re reviews of this. And also, our copycat brand from India, Minimalist, has an exact product called the Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density. So I wanted to first try the Ordinary one, have an opinion, and then try the Minimalist one uh, to form an opinion. So I want to get through the entire bottle. This is G guys give me time i won't be able to give you a review in two weeks because you know it takes time to go through an entire bottle to see what the hair feels like if it grows or not and then i'm gonna buy the minimalist one i'm gonna compare it's gonna take like at least at least a good six months but i'm gonna give you a solid review by the end of it so if you are patient with me guys i'm gonna give you my honest opinion about what i felt about the ordinary the minimalist, all of that. So all of these testings are in process. I'm also really loving the way my hair is feeling at this moment. Um, also started trying the K18 hair mask. Oh my god, it's so expensive for a tube this small that it's 5,000 rupees. But amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Um, anyway, so I also got the K18 mask, by the way. It's not in this because I just used it today morning. So just consider it there okay the next thing i have is from la roche posay this is a psychoplast balm uh, b5 now if you are one of my og viewers from when i used to do my videos in kuwait i used to speak a lot about la roche posay there because the pr agency 
in Kuwait and Middle East used to send me a lot of Vichy, La Roche Posay, which I don't get anymore. But of all the products that I have tried, all these fancy French, European, German products, this is one product that stood out to me, guys. This is a healing balm. So it doesn't matter if you have nappy rash or um, what is that, razor balms, um, mosquito bites, or just randomly your skin breaks out or eczema whatever it is even if it's your baby your mom you whatever your skin has a random irritation my god this works like magic now we have a lot of replacements here in india a lot of these saika i have spoken about saika on my channel in many of my videos guys many many indians brands have dr sheds uh, earth rhythm suganda many brands have saika products um our favorite dot and key uh, but I love this like they came out with the Saika plus balm I don't know seven eight years ago and I love it so I had to buy this so that's my next one okay I got a blush now I realize that I don't have many blushes anymore all of my makeup collection is lost in Kuwait guys with the whole separation whatever it's not a fun time lost everything so I had to uh, buy a few new blushes I feel I told you I'm gonna give you tea in this video I'm gonna give you tea I told you anyways I wanted a nice a uh, pink blush that suited my skin tone. The very first blush that I wanted was one by Patrick Ta. The first time, second time, third time I went to Sephora, it was sold out. I'll get to that story. So while th this was sold out, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna look around and find another pink blush that suits my skin tone. I stumbled upon KVD and this shade. Oh my God, if you are slightly dark, medium deep tan, like me or deeper um it's called peony this shade guys this shade has to go viral for us brown girls it's so beautiful i will wear this and show you what it looks like on my cheeks in my shorts and my reels so definitely stay tuned for that i'll have multiple multiple quick uh, digestible little um videos for you now i found the patrick Tar blush that i was talking about the bright beautiful pink one on online and Shweta told me to buy things online sephora.com because you also get a lot of samples guys I did not know that because like I said I'm not a shopper I don't shop a lot so I bought these things online and they just cancelled my order I lost the money that weird shit happened but I went to another location of Sephora and I found it so this is the Patrick Tan I was saving the package just to show you guys uh, how beautiful it is guys gosh I was it was ulta but this is the she's a doll okay uh, that's the version um, beautiful beautiful packaging look at that so I just wanted to show you guys what the packaging looks like and then I'm gonna throw this out <laughs> anyways I carried all of this paper carton all the way from US just to show you ah beautiful now look at take a look at that beautiful 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 oh my god just to hold it is like a, such a luxurious experience but you'll be like jovi can you show us a blush yes i will i will i will show you the blush that's what the blush looks like a bright pink guys the kvd is more of a muted pink um this is more of a bright pink and both of it looks really really good on us deeper skin tone depending on what is your mood you know so this is a cream version this is the cream version which is protected by a plastic little shield and um, yeah we have a powder version and this is in comparison the KVD's pink so yeah that is the Patrick Tash she's a doll KVD peony let's move right along I bought a few mascaras uh, so this is a super black shade 5d lash pow from makeup revolution i saw again a lot of reviews that called it really nice volumizing mascara i got this from target um i don't know how good it is i haven't tried it yet so yeah uh, apparently it has a really fun way of opening you just <laughs> that is so cool wow that is a fat brush guys that is a fat brush anyways yeah you just oh that's it you just like open close <laughs> i love it and i love essence mascaras the lash princess mascaras are amazing i have also heard the i love extreme volume mascara is really good so i haven't tried it i don't know these are the two mascaras that i got 
I got a bunch of lip liners. I was on a lip liner kick. Let me tell you that because in India, I've noticed that you don't get a lot of really nice nudie brown lip liners that are suitable for deeper skin tone. Listen to that again. In India, where we are dark skinned, you don't get... Wow. Can you listen to that again? You don't get a lot of options of lip liners that suit us dark girls. Yes, you get your burgundies, reds and magentas. No, I want browns and nudes that look good on me, right? So, <sighs> anyway, so I've got this one from Urban Decay. This is Conspiracy. Now, this I can, of course, show you on the back of my hand what it looks like. A beautiful brown. Like, that's a neutral brown. That's what we need more of. So that's Conspiracy from Urban Decay. Then from LA Girl, they have a nude line um, of lip liner. So this one, let me try to find the shade name. It's Chai Latte. <laughs> I hate that name, but okay. Look at that brown. Beautiful. That's Chai Latte. And this one is called Rosewood. It's a beautiful rosy nude. Ah, oh, look at that. <gasps> beautiful. I mean, when a lip liner is really nice, you just need a lip liner and a little bit of clear lip gloss. Oh my God, your lips would look so luscious. From NYX, I got a lip liner in the shade Cherry Skies. I'm sure this is available here too. I just, I just picked it up and I saw it, that's all. It's a deeper red, ready color. Uh, and we have a nice pink. This is, I know I trashed on the pinks and the reds. And then I end up with pinks and reds. But it was such a pretty color, I just had to pick it up, you know. This is from Milani and this is 08 Fuchsia. Uh, and that's what that looks like. So these are all the lip liners. What is your favorite color? Let me know in the comment section. Alrighty, next up from Olaplex, you know. I love Olaplex number three. It is a pre-shampoo treatment, again, to make your hair strong and everything. Many people have asked me if it is really worth it. Oh, hell yeah, 100%. It's amazing. So I saw this review that said that the number seven, it's a bonding oil, is really good to boost, shine, strengthen, and repair hair. Um, so I bought it. I bought it. I'm going to... I'm gonna give my money if they say it's gonna strengthen my hair with all the bleaching that I do, which I'm not gonna stop, guys. I love I love bleached hair, okay? I'm not gonna stop this. So I need to strengthen it even more. <laughs> I just feel like curly, messy, frizzy hair kinda looks nicer when it has a little bit more texture with respect to color instead of like a one-dimensional darker brown. You know what? I'm, that's why I keep a little bit of bleach on my hair, especially because I have thin hair. It also gives you volume. A few tips if you have thin hair like myself. Anyway, so this is the number seven oil. I haven't used it yet, so I have no opinion. I have great, I have heard great things of it. Uh, from Ulta, I picked up the new NYX Blur Foundations. It's the Bear With Me Foundation. Shweta said, pick it up. I said, okay, ma'am, which is why I have two. Uh, my shade is Warm Honey T15, and Shweta's shade is Golden Light BT08. Um, I just forgot to give it to her. It was in my bag, so I, <laughs> I picked it up, and here it is. Um, all reviews and everything will come up later, guys. I'm just showing you what I bought. I also bought another foundation from House Labs or House Labs, whatever you want to call it. This is Lady Gaga's brand. Um, I'm not someone who falls for the whole celebrity brand thing. But again, Shweta told me, girl, just try it. I tried it at Sephora. I fell in love with it, okay? I also tried the Makeup by Mario's new foundation. But that, um, they didn't have a perfect shade for me but this is spot on so just in case you want to know it's 385 medium neutral my shade I'm gonna take it out of the box anyway so you can see what it looks like but the review and everything I'm gonna do much much later on how beautiful is that so pretty and so like a perfume bottle right so this was around thirty eight dollars I want to say or was it forty eight I think it was thirty eight dollars it's kind of pricey guys I don't remember the price of all of the rest of the things. Um, the Patrick Tower blush was $38. I think the KVD was also around $30. Um, that's all I remember. I don't remember the rest. All right, from Makeup by Mario. <laughs> 
a lot of these things are influenced by Shweta, by the way. The way she makes you guys buy things, she also makes me buy things, okay? Okay, and that's just who she is. And she has some fabulous recommendations. Fabulous recommendations. So, um, this is the Moisture Plumping Lip Serum. Now, she has this in her kit and I think we had gone for a movie months ago and I wanted some like a balm or something and she, you know, she gave me this. I'm like, Shweta, I just need a lip balm. She like, try this. And I tried it. Oh my God, I fell in love with it. The kind of gloss, like a minty plumping gloss that this gives, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, okay? It's all, it's in a stick form, but it feels like liquid gloss. You wait, okay? This is what my matte lips look like. Oh, I feel like the camera is not catching the shine. The shine on this is unreal. When you see someone in person with this gloss, you okay, I have always thought a gloss is a gloss. Is it even if it is from LA Girl or from Fenty or Rare or Makeup by Mario? A gloss is a gloss. It gives you glossy lips. But there is something about this one, guys. It just just makes your lips look so juicy and so shiny and kind of masks the lines on it just if you can get it it is slightly pricey i do not remember how much but yeah i got it in the shade cinnamon glow um it is not nude it, it, it is a little like brown but yeah it's beautiful guys on its own on top of something beautiful also from Fenty Beauty, I got the Poutsicle. I saw so many reviews on shorts, I believe. Uh, I saw this one particular video that sold me, okay? This girl, she applied the Popsicle in the morning and at night, midnight, she still had it on her lips. I'm like, oh my God. I need that. So this particular shade was sold out everywhere. I went to a couple of Sephora's, couple of Ulta's to get this, but I finally got it. This is in the shade Berry Banger 04. They only have four shades, so this is the deepest shade. Um, yeah, I will show you on the back of my hand what that looks like. That's what it looks like. Uh, it has a glossy finish, but I did. I definitely tried this on, guys. It definitely lasts all day, but I will show it to you. Um, on a wear test I will make a reel or something like that but when I wore this three days in a row because I was obsessed my lips started really peeling you know it really dried out my lips by the third day first day second day it didn't make any difference but by the third day my lips <laughs> couldn't handle it anymore so yeah it dries out your lips if you wear it continuously every day what else? Yeah, I just got a few bobby pins from Ulta and that is everything. So that was my beauty haul from New York. Uh, now a little bit of story time or my experience. I can tell you, I don't know if it is because I was there during Christmas, New Year time, the holiday season, uh, but the staff was not polite or helpful in Sephora. In fact, there was this one particular time I was trying to find my shade of the Hoss Labs foundation. I could find everything except my shade 385. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And I'm trying not to bother any sales assistants, you know. So I'm trying to find it myself, but I couldn't. So then I see one lady somewhere. I look at her and she immediately turns. <laughs> And she goes and hides behind something else. I'm like, okay, I don't have a lot of time to waste. So I go behind her. I go towards her. And she saw me walking towards her and she ran away. She actually ran away. She did not, she would rather run away <laughs> than help a customer. I found that so strange. There was this another time when uh, I wanted the Patrick Tars, she's a doll, right? I was looking for it. Uh, I went to this particular lady and uh, she was this tall, towering woman. So I was already intimidated. I'm like, um, um, I need a blush from which brand, honey? P -p Patrick Ta, I work in Dior, honey. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Who do I ask for help? Um, all right, maybe I can take a second to help you out. Let me see, what is the shade that you're looking for? I'm like, sh 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 she's a doll? No, darling, it's sold out. And then she walks out. I'm like, oh my God, it's almost like we're doing them a favor by being there or by buying a product, you know? I was so, uh, <laughs> I was so intimidated. I can tell you that, I was so intimidated. Um, Ulta was slightly a better experience, but um, yeah, that was, 
my god i would rather do online shopping but then online shopping they cancel the our, both of us even shweta's our order last minute and as of today we both haven't received our reverse payment yet you know so that is our beauty haul anyways i will maybe do a fashion haul as well some other time thank you so much for watching this video at this point if you like this video guys please 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 click that thumbs up button because these long form videos are dying nobody is watching them anymore because everybody loves that quick satisfaction of you know scrolling and shorts uh but yeah if you want to see these long form videos you have to engage in them and the easiest way to do that is by thumbs up you know leave a comment uh that's it guys that's it uh for this video i shall see you in my next one i love you so much